In this video, I want to compare and contrast the Wushtoff Classic to the Wushtoff Gourmet slicing knives. As you can see, they look very, very different, and that's because the Gourmet is an entry-level knife while the Classic is their standard knife. So the Gourmet is going to be much cheaper in quality and construction than the Classic will be. Ironically enough, they both start out with the same metal, 58 hardness proprietary blend of Wushtoffs, but since the Classic is handmade and forged, and the Gourmet is machine made and stamped, the end result is the Classic has a much more resilient blade than the Gourmet does. On top of that, the Classic does have the hollow ground edges in order to make food not stick and cuts go through cleaner, which is always very nice. And it really adds to the fact that the angles on both of these blades are different. The Gourmet is a very dull, actually, 18 and a half degree angle, while the Classic is an extremely sharp 14 degree angle. And to put that in perspective, if I take the Classic right now and try to shave my arm with it, it'll be completely smooth in one pass. And if I take the Gourmet and try to shave my arm with it, no matter how many times I try to scrape it against my arm, the hairs are not gonna be cut. That's really something you wanna think about. The next thing I wanna talk about is the rigidity of the blade. Since the Classic is forged, you have a very thick, very hardy bolster right here in between the tang and the blade, and that adds a lot of structural rigidity to the actual blade. By contrast, the Gourmet, being just a stamped piece of steel, has no bolster, so you can see how flexible this knife actually is. While they both have full tangs, the handle quality is very, very different, even though they look very similar. The handle of the Classic is a very, very nice, sort of soft, high-quality plastic, while the handle of the Gourmet feels like a cheap sort of dollar knife store handle. It's sort of hollow-ish, it's sort of flimsy, it feels brittle when you touch it, and it really just doesn't give you a good feeling. All of those reasons are why, even though they both have lifetime warranties, etc., etc., I really don't think the Gourmet is a good purchase. I think for the amount of money you're paying for this, you can either buy a much better knife, like let's say a Shun Soro, which is a phenomenal entry-level knife, or you can pay a little bit more and just upgrade to the Classic and know that you have a no-compromise knife that's going to get you through your lifetime. I'll put a link down below to both. I'll put a link down below to both regardless, and let me know if you have any questions, any comments, or any concerns, but otherwise I will talk to you very soon.